Hello, my little crafty monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we're gonna do a happy mail reviewing, okay? And I, this is a little late, seriously, honestly, to tell you the truth, like I am completely late, but Mama always said, better late than never, and uh, it's better late than never. So, um, and I believe that every swap and everything that is sent to me should be acknowledged. And I also believe that they also deserve time on the air to, you know, for thanks and stuff. So, without wasting any more time, guys, let's get to it. So, we're going to start off with my... Christmas cards and then we'll move on to the happy mail to the actual swaps so well actually actually two of them are swaps and one of them is not but anyway let's start off with uh, the Christmas cards so I want to give a thanks a shout out and a thank you to um, my really good friend Armando I call him my Mondis. So I want to thank you, Mondis. Thank you so much for my Christmas card and my $25 gift certificate to Michaels. Because you know, you know that is going to come in completely handy. And my little crafty monsters will also thank you because that's more supplies for me to do more videos. <laughs> um, I'm not asking anybody to send me gift cards. He just sent it out of the kindness of his heart. Um, and also, I want to thank Miguel Cabello. That's my love. And thank you so much for my $25 gift um, gift card to Michaels because he also gave me a gift card. Um, and then also, I got a I got a gift and I got a Christmas card from the same sender, and that is a really good friend of mine, Tammy Sexton. Um, Tammy Sexton sent me a Christmas card and she sent me this adorable little stamp of a birthday cake, a three-tier birthday cake with a candle and then the sentiment that says, happy birthday, may all your wishes come true. And this is by Itty Bitty. This is an amazing little, it's, it's a, a clean stamp. So if you guys are using this on a stamp tool, you guys would basically take out that little padding in the bottom and you would just use it like that and because this has that extra padding so that's a clean stamp and then and then as a gift because boo boos you know you all spoil me you know you do but anyway as a gift she sent me this uh 10 second bow maker um at first guys like honestly to tell you the truth at first I didn't know what this was like honestly like I was you know okay I have the bow abra and you know I've seen other techniques and stuff like that so I didn't know what this was all about but honestly to tell you the truth I saw the video on the link that it comes with with the purchase I guess and I could honestly tell you guys that this made my Bow making completely, it just blew it out of the water. Like seriously blew it out of the water. And if you guys have a hard time making bows like I do, you guys will definitely, definitely understand where I'm coming from. Um, this, this made it so freaking easy. And when it says 10 seconds, like it's not joking. Seriously, you make this bow super, super fast. So I want to Thank Tammy. Tammy, you have no idea, boo boo, what you did because we've already made tutorials using this. You guys haven't seen it yet because they're still editing. And as a matter of fact, one of them is going to go up now, but they're still editing and stuff. And so um, you haven't seen me do this or use this little bad boy, but um, stay tuned for those videos because I will be using one of these little bad boys. And um, you guys will definitely, definitely see how easy and how fast it is to make a bow. Anyway, um, I'm also going to put a link down when I do these videos. Um, I'm going to put a link down on how to get one of these bad boys because I believe that everybody should have one of these little bad boys. All right. So now let's moving on to the one, um, the one swap that actually is 
I took the longest to actually show it, but I'm so sorry. This one goes out to, well, this one came from Carmen Ayala. Carmen Ayala and I did this swap, um, and this was about, um, I think the end of the swap was probably about three weeks ago. And it was a um, steampunk swap. I love steampunk, first of all. Just, you know, just, just to start off. But um, it was a steampunk pocket letter. And so that's basically what we did on, on, this, on this swap. And I can tell you right now, she sent, she sent some goods. She really did. So this is the, this, whoa, calm down there. Calm down there, Bobo. You're getting crazy. So this is the pocket letter. Okay. So she used like metallic paints, I believe. And then she used like so many different mixed medias. You guys can't tell, but this paper is actually embossed, meaning it ha it's like raised and it's like 3D-ish. She did an amazing job on this. She really, really did. She did awesome. And look at that. These are the goodies. Now, she sent other goodies on this one, too. You did awesome right here, boo boo. Seriously, I really like this. I love the key. And then she painted the key. What? So, anyway, she sent some goodies as well. Okay, she sent a little rosette. I don't know what this is. Is this a card? See, I haven't, I mean, I opened up the swap, but I didn't really open up the stuff because I wanted to go through it with you guys. So, this looks like it's a, um, a bookmarker. She sent a bookmarker, and this is, I would actually use this as a card mat for the front of a card. Wouldn't this be a cute spring card for the spring, like a spring steampunk? And then um, these are some papers. These are some like project style cards, the large ones. Okay. Awesome. And then, and then she sent, she sent me a bunch of like little stickers. Okay, all these goodies. She sent stickers and little project lifestyle cards and cutouts, um, stuff like that. More stickers. And she sent me a little paper clip, a little diamond paper clip. Girl, you know I love diamonds because diamonds are my best friend, boo boo. And then she sent me a little, like a little notepad that she made herself out of a matchbook. How cute is this? Okay. Thank you, boo boo. And, and she sent me a little shaker. Whoo, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. So we had a little intermission right there because something happened. Anyway, so she sent me a little shaker card, okay? And then she sent me this little embellished... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a tag. This little embellished tag with lace. This is that tube ribbon embellishment. And then a little pinwheel. Is that called a pinwheel? I don't know if it's a pinwheel. Anyway, so that's what Carmen Ayala sent me. The steampunk um, swap. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you for all of the goodies. I really, really love it. Now, the next swap is from Julie Schroeder. And her and I did this tea and pocket... I mean, I'm sorry. A tea and coffee pocket letter swap. And it was... Um, it was one that I actually hosted. Now, her pocket letter, I did open it. I opened it and I've already used some stuff. She sent me a um, Starbucks gift card. Thank you so much for that, sweetie. I already used it. <laughs> I want to go get my Frappuccino, girl. I, I want to go get my Frappuccino fix. Um, so I already used it. Thank you so much for that. And... Um, I used some of her goodies already too. She sent me some chocolate. She sent me some like bling ribbon and ribbons and then some like little net 
lacings and stuff like that. And I don't remember what else she sent me, but I've already used quite a few of stuff. And, um, and this is basically her pocket letter. So she weaved these little buttons together and she used a lot of metallic and um, solid color DSP paper. Now, she did a really good job on color coordinating. I really love how she color coordinated it. And girl, you know I love some gold, girl. I love the gold. So anyway, um, she's new at crafting. Like honestly, she said this is her first pocket letter and the way she put it together because she also sealed it in one of these little um, pockets. She did a really, really good job. Like you did a good job for, for your first time pocket letter because honestly, sweetie, I've gotten po did I say that right? My English may be not bad, but anyway, I've, I've got, um, swaps before from people who are first timers and like, you know, I mean, everybody has to start off somewhere, right? So, I mean, they basically look like they need work, but I mean, yours is pretty good. Yours, you put it together, the structure of it, everything you're, you, girl, you, you on point right now. And like I said, boo-boo, thank you so much for my gift card. Loved it, loved it. Um, now, this next swap is from a good friend of mine as well. And this was not a swap. I keep calling it a swap, but it's not a swap. She actually just sent this to me just to send it to me because she wanted to send it to me. Whoa, calm down. Where did it go? Oh, sorry. It was a little ornament she sent me. So anyway, she sent this to me as just happy mail because that's just the way Tony Morello is. Tony Morello always sends good mail. Anyway, and she also sent me this cute little bracelet that I'm, aware, I'm wearing. I can't even talk. I'm already wearing And it says, um, be you. Cause girl, you know I'm always me. I ain't gonna be nobody else for nobody, you know? So anyway, let's start off with what she gave me. So she gave me this bracelet. Thank you so much, sweetie, because I'm already wearing it. And you will see it in a lot of videos because I tied it in a knot and I don't think this is coming off. <laughs> so it's, it's gonna be on me. Um, she sent me this little Christmas ornament and I didn't open this swap in time, so. This didn't get onto my Christmas, but it is gonna go into the Christmas tote with all the other ornaments, and it will definitely, definitely be on the tree next year. I guarantee you, boo boo. I guarantee you. Then she sent me this little Santa clothespin. So cute. And she sent me this little um the MD X card. Well, sorry, I think this is from somewhere else. But, but, I did find the J somewhere. <laughs> Tony Morello, I don't know what where it went, sweetie, but I did see the J because this did say Jesse. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, sweetie. I don't know what happened. Um, and then she sent me this little booklet. It's like an embellishment booklet. How cute is this? with tags and bookmarkers and all that stuff. Again, like I said, you know what? I think this belonged right here. I think that's what it was. Yeah. It looks like that's where that came from. Okay. And then, and then she sent me little, um, what are these called? the bottle caps these are christmas bottle caps and this little netting thing which i think was really really cute and then she also sent me some beads in this one some beads and then she made this little like um like this little envelope thing it has like a little doily a little envelope with like embellishments and stickers and I just drop a few of them. And then there's tags and washi tape in this one, which is cute. This is the front. This is the way she decorated it. And then there's a snowflake in the back. Awesome job, girl. See, she gets down, she gets down. 
And then, <laughs> this was on something. Tell me, I don't know what this was on, but it was on something. But it's no longer on there. It's it's just floating around. But, you know, I would use it next year anyway. And then she bought me a little leather, I mean, a little letter J. J for Jesse, in case you guys didn't know. And I saved the last, the big for last. So this is a little belly band that she made out of like lace and ribbon and um, snowflakes. And she like embellished it and it's Velcro. So it'll open and close, obviously, around this booklet. And this is the booklet. This is actually, I've seen these paper bag albums where it's kind of like goodies in here, like tags, and she decorated it. Oh my God. Jesse, you are throwing things around. I'm sorry, Tony. They're just falling out of everywhere. Anyway, so um, these are little pockets full of like embellishments and little cutouts and dies and stuff like that. And she did an amazing job on this. I really like this. Thank you so much, sweetie. Um, like I said, this was not a swap. Uh, this was actually her just sending it to me out of the kindness of her heart, you know? And then she also sent me a little Christmas card with a little something inside, a little message. So thank you so much, Tony Morello. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry that you guys, seriously, Carmen and Julie and um tony i and also tammy i am so sorry that this video is late but thank you ladies thank you so much armando and miguel for um the beautiful gifts that you guys sent to me um i really really appreciate it and i guess that's it for the happy mail swaps for now and let me show you guys some little things that i purchased you know since i already have your attention uh, Stay tuned for videos on me using these little stuff. So I bought these recollections and this is a clear ink. This is actually like uh, an embossing. It's an embossing one. So if you guys have been following my, my card making, you guys will see that I always do this watermark by Versamark, which works really, really good for embossing. But this actually is an embossing pad. So we're going to use this and see when we emboss things to see how good this is. And then you guys will see the real live review. I'm sorry that my chair is squeaking. Is it because I'm fat? The chair might be saying like, help, help. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so we're going to try this embossing pad and see how that works. And then also I bought this glue pad. So this glue pad, I've seen a lot of crafters using this. So for instance, let's just say that you're making a card, a greeting card, and you wanted to, for instance, you had a stamp that you wanted, just the outline of that stamp to be like glittered or something. You would stamp it with this glue pad onto your card or onto whatever surface you're stamping and then you would throw your glitter on there and it would actually stick because it's glue you could use it for that you could use it for so many other things i've seen people actually stamp the whole entire paper with this and then throw glitter on it excuse me and heat it with the heating tool and that was actually really really nice as well so also what i purchased was i purchased this embossing dabber by ranger media and this is like this little dabber thing where you could do uh circles on your paper and then do the embossing on it and then heat you know do it with the heating tool um i'm definitely going to do a lot of videos so you guys are going to see me using a lot of these tools but um and a lot of these new products and um so what this does basically is like, for instance, if you wanted to do just the edges of your card, you can use this, you could dab it. If you wanted to use a stencil and just, you know, do the embossing on the stencil part, this would actually work really good. I haven't seen anybody do that, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, you could use it on stencils. So that's that embossing um, dabber that we got from Ranger Media. And then, and then I got some Recollections bought embossing powders so this one is actually a silver and this is just basic regular silver this is embossing 
silver. Okay, and then I got this one also. This is a silver embossing one, but this one has a glitter to it. So not only is it silver, but it's silver with a glitter. And then I got an all white, like a snow white, because I don't really have white. I have one that is either clear, and then the other one is just basically the glitter. It looks white like this, so you were to think, oh my god, it's going to be embossed in the white lettering, but it really doesn't. It just does a glitter. But I went and I purchased this Recollections embossing powder. Whoa, focus, boo-boo. Focus. And this one's in Snow White. So this one will basically be the white lettering. And that's the, the goodies I purchased um, a few days ago. So stay tuned for videos on using that. And like I said, ladies, thank you so much for your swaps and your gifts. Monlis, Miguel, thank you so much. My little crafting monsters, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy making them for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that notification button because you guys need to be notified every time you I upload a video. Not you. You ain't uploading no video. But if you are, you should tell me. I'll follow you. So win, win boo. <laughs> Don't forget to share and and tell a friend because they need to know how wonderful these uh, videos are. Hello, Candy. Oh, my little Candy, I miss you. I don't know where have you been, girl. You have been MIA forever. But anyway, you came in the last part of this video. Thank you very much. But. <laughs> I'll be sending you a message on Messenger right now. Anyway, again, you, my little crafty monsters, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.